Today, I am going to be sharing with you um, some tips on how to sort out the most troublesome thing in your life right now. Um, now that everyone's working from home, and this is email. Uh, this is going to be a very short video and because it's not really very complicated to clear your inbox and get to inbox um, zero as they say it. everyone is trying to get to inbox zero and um, I'm going to try and help you to do so in the next few minutes so the first thing you do to get to inbox zero is to create three folders that will help you um, and they are namely the first folder it's called reply second folder waiting and the third folder reference so create these three folders in your um, email um, client in your email software and I'll show you how to use these three folders to get an inbox zero all right so I first got this idea from David Allen who wrote this post about five years ago but I made some tweaks to um, suit my business so you should do the same once you understand the basic of these three folders so first thing that we need to do is we need to understand this rule it's called the rule of two yeah and the rule of two is simply this when you receive an email rule number one take action and archive or rule number two file it and get back to it later okay so you must either take action or file the email the moment you receive an email and this is where the three folders come back in all right let me just copy this okay i'm just gonna copy it paste okay so when do you use each folder so the reply folder is where you file emails that are pending your reply anything that takes you more than two minutes to reply file it file it in this folder if it takes you less than two minutes then just reply okay the waiting folder is when you're waiting for a reply yeah so if you're waiting for a reply so you send an email um, <clears throat> you then the email goes into your send box you should then take that email and move it into the waiting folder so that you know what um, emails are still pending some other person's reply so in this case in this way you don't miss out anything so for example if you're sending you send a reply to your boss and uh, she hasn't replied to you yet as you send an email to your boss and she hasn't replied to you yet send that email to her go to your send folder and drag it into the uh, waiting folder because you're still waiting for her to reply okay then every day just make it a habit to go through the waiting folder just to follow up on uh, past emails and then lastly is the reference the last folder is a reference folder so anything from newsletters to promo content to interesting things um, all these extra emails just put it into the reference folder so the reference folder can be as messy as you want yeah but at least it doesn't affect your main inbox so if you do this every single day you're gonna have a lot of emails in the reply folder that takes more than two minutes to reply so daily first thing again back to the rule of two take action and archive it or file the email after that when you're done with that go back and take action on the emails again that's kind of how you go through it um, on a daily basis and um, I hope this helps you in managing your email and keeping you sane during this period of working from home if uh, you have any comments to leave just let me know 
and I'll be happy to um, share more. Take care.